Okay, in this video, we are going to calculate spontaneity using entropy. So in this video, we're going to try to combine the entropy of the system and the entropy of the surroundings to be able to calculate the entropy of the universe or at least predict the sign of the entropy of the universe so that we are able to predict if a reaction should be spontaneous or not. Okay, so in this example, we're going to consider the combustion of propane gas. And so that's C3H8 plus oxygen forming CO2 and water. And the problem tells us that the enthalpy of this reaction is that it's an exothermic reaction that gives off 2,044 kilojoules of energy. And so the question is, calculate the entropy change in the surroundings when the, when the reaction curves at 25 degrees Celsius. Determine the sign of the entropy change for the system. Determine the sign of the entropy change for the universe. And is the reaction spontaneous? So to start off, we want to calculate the entropy change in the surroundings when this reaction occurs at 25 degrees. And so delta S of the surroundings is equal to negative delta H of the system divided by the temperature. And so in this case, delta S of the surroundings is going to be equal to negative negative 2044 kilojoules divided by the temperature, but we need this in Kelvin, so 25 degrees C plus 273.15 gives me that the temperature is 298.15 Kelvin. And so we can plug that in. And so delta S of the surroundings should be equal to negative times a negative is a positive. And I get 6.86 .6 joules per Kelvin. Okay, so the next step asks us to determine the sign of the entropy change for the system. And so in this, we're going to we're not going to look up the values. Instead, we're going to predict how what if the sign is going to be positive or negative based upon the properties of the reactants and the products. And so for the reactants, we have six moles of gas. And in the products, we have seven moles of gas. And so I'm increase to go from reactants to products, I'm increasing the moles of gas, which means that my delta S of the system should be increasing or greater than zero or positive. Okay, and so now we need to determine the sign of the entropy change for the universe. We know that delta S of the universe is equal to delta S of the system plus delta S of the surroundings. And when we calculated this, we found that delta S of the surroundings was a positive value, and we predicted delta S of the system to be a positive value. A positive value plus a positive value is always going to be a positive value. And so I would predict that delta S of the universe is greater than zero. It is positive. And so now it asks, is this reaction spontaneous? Well, delta S of the universe is greater than zero, a positive value, which means that the entropy of the universe is increasing. 
And based upon the second law of thermodynamics, if the entropy in the universe increases, then the reaction is spontaneous. So the delta S of the universe is positive. Therefore, the reaction is spontaneous. Okay, I hope this example helped. And um, in our next video, we're going to start figuring out how to combine entropy and enthalpy into this term known as the Gibbs free energy that should help us further predict the spontaneity of reactions.